Hey guys, what is up? I am Devil Driven. Uh, today's video, we're picking up where we left off with the new reveals. Uh, some of them just got revealed a few moments ago as me recording it, and one of them is really, really nuts. I'll show that one last. Uh, it was revealed by our uh, newest community manager, Anna. Um, but uh, we'll just start off with one that's pretty nuts in itself. Uh, a Fuka monster card. Uh, four strength, five um, provisions, one armor, veil, thrive. Units played by your opponent trigger this unit's thrive as ability as well. So you play this, they play a five, it thrives. Not, not including all the the thrive units you already have on the board. So, you know, it procs your thrive units. They play a five, this jumps to a five. You play, say, Catacan. This jumps up to a six, they play a seven. It gets ugly. If you got two of these on board with some larvas, good luck. <laughs> good luck. This card's really good. Um, it's going to take the place of a Necker Warrior for sure. Um, it just, uh, it's flat out better. I mean, it, the Necker Warrior is going to be like a starter card, but you're probably, if you're, if you're a monster player, you're going to want to craft these because these cards are going to be really, really good. I mean, they're just, um, it's compounding interest on what you got going on. Um, really, really good card. Um, let's check out the next one. Uh, making a bomb. Uh, this one was revealed by the Novigrad uh, Merchants of Novigrad pop podcast. Uh, it's uh, move an enemy unit to the other row and give it bleeding four. If this is the only unit on a road, damage it by four instead. Um, the four damage cards make it kind of awkward. Um, movement is always nice, but bleeding, you, you know, you move the unit, it bleeds once. And then if they purify it, you just played a, you know, I mean, granted, you might have took away one of their row locked units, but. This one seems really, really bad. Nilfgaard card. It's not looking too good for the Nilfgaard. Um, although the, one of the cards that just got revealed is not is pretty good. Um, it's one you're going to have to definitely watch out for on red coin. Um, or if you're on blue. Let's check out the next one. Uh, uh, this one was revealed by uh, Cheddar Paul. He's a fun streamer, man. You guys should check him out. Um, he streams earlier in the morning. Um, like around this time, 6 a.m. Eastern time. Um, but he just revealed a uh, Witcher student, so we're going to have uh, the ability to proc Witchers, um, kind of like um, the Frigates. So you're just going to have Witchers all over the place, <laughs> even though there's only like six of them in the Witcher game. <laughs> but uh, you're going to have a bunch of these little... Uh, I would have called them baby, uh, baby witchers, um, but uh, nothing real fantastic here. But it was it was good to see that we're gonna have uh, swarm witchers. I thought that was cute. Uh, next one uh, was revealed by Palo X. Uh, armor up. This is a Skellige card. Damage an enemy by two. Spawn three witcher students on the opposite row and damage him by one. Then give them one armor. So this one's going to... I guess the biggest card you could go with this is the uh, the wild boar. Not the wild boar of the sea, but the other boar. I mean, that one has some synergy with it. doesn't see play right now, but maybe if there's enough self-damage, you're going to want to play this. Hemdall's always going to be a thing, so in the mirror it's going to be kind of awkward but it gives them armor so it makes Hemdall kind of awkward as well so um will this raid card replace raiding fleet and the damage cards and um the blood eagle i don't know that's a tight spot right there and uh Especially with the one five provision card they revealed just a few moments ago. Uh, I I don't know how you're going to fit this in the deck. Because you're going to want to put this other card in for sure. Skelly got it hooked up again. Um, once again, Skelly is just going to be a monster uh, day one of the patch, I think. 
this card. This, this is this is going to be a disc plate for sure. If you guys don't know what disc plate is, there's a you can get like metal plated framed cards. I will get this on disc plate. This card is incredible. I love Lovecrafty and stuff, so this just I saw this and I was just like I need this on my wall somewhere. <laughs> this card, I, th I think it's pretty good too, man. I, I think it's pretty good. Uh, it's a spontaneous evolution. Who revealed this too, by the way? Oh, this was Lionheart. Lionheart's a good dude, man. The best dressed dude in Gwent for sure. Um, a spontaneous evolution. Boost an allied unit by four. And gain an additional effect based on its unit category. So if it's an insectoid, you spawn three drones. If it's a beast, you boost it by eight. Or if it's an augroid, give all augroids in hand to armor. I don't know if you're going to play this for carryover. It seems a little super odd. I mean, it protects Neckers, but... Uh, I don't know. I mean, I guess you boost something by four still, but... Um, I mean, it plays for seven... Or 12, as if I'm reading it right. Oh, no, you get an additional effect. Um, so if it's the boost, so it's either the straight up 8, I believe. 7 or 4, and then all the 2 armor in hand. Um, I think this card's really good, though. Um, I think organic uh, monsters might have a place, um, for real. Especially with the Thrives and, you know, Neckers being able to get... Getting two armor on them makes them harder to kill. It basically turns them into... Um, oh, it turns into... Uh, you know, the larvas with this card. So, I don't know. I think she is going to have a field day too. A uh, patch day as well. Uh, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, Specimen Gwen had a good card reveal here. This card's really good. Um, the Bear Witcher Adept. Uh, deploy damage self by four. At the end of your turn, heal self by one. While not damage, gain armor. So it's just constant. It's an engine. I mean, you play this. Uh, people were saying to play this with Portal. I don't know if you want to be, you know, dropping this. Dropping your devotion and messing up your Blood Eagle and stuff for, for this. But I think the card's really good. I mean, you, it's basically an unconditional magni division but it doesn't after four turns but how how often does a magni live you know what i mean um the armor might not come into play but it might i mean you have dolls a thing um other damages you know um wear cat you get a wear cat on this it just it nullifies it because it just comes back right back so I think this card's really good. Really good. Uh, next one was re revealed by Patronus. I think that's how you say it. Target practice. I didn't get a very good picture of this one. Um, boost an allied unit by four. If there's a Witcher in the boosted unit's row, also spawn a Witcher student. So it's a four for six. Um, it's a warfare card. Once again, warfare cards are pretty tight. I mean, you you got uh, reinforcements. Um, I guess if you're playing um, uprising, this might be all right. Um, whether or not uprising gets some boosts, we'll have to wait and see. But um, I mean, it's a four for six. But we'll just have to wait and see how those Witcher spawns work out. Uh, next card, um, this was revealed by, who was it? Um, oh, this is, a. Uh, I I think this is Broken Lank Gaming. Um, and I guess this is a Witcher 1 card. The art on this is kind of odd, but I guess it's the style of the Witcher 1 art. So, that's why it kind of looks like this. Because I was like, man, this card's art's pretty bad. But it's kind of like a homage to Witcher 1, so... Uh, so it's a nine strength, six provisions, Beringer. Um, at the end of your turn, destroy this card if it's the only Witcher on the row. So uh, Movement ST is going to crush this if there's only one uh, 
You're gonna have to have witchers on both rows to uh, um, beat this. <laughs> but I, I, I just, I don't see you breaking up devotion for most decks just to, just to have a nine strength unit that possibly could get killed by a movement card. I mean, I, I think that would feel really bad. Um, I like the uh, cow in the background too, and this little. Voinod, I think that's what you call him. Uh, the Dagon type folks. Maybe he's coming, man. Maybe he's coming. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, next one was revealed by Red Rain. Um, Stolen Mutagens. Now, this card is really cool because I like cards with choices. Um, it's Pick a Mutagen. Um, red, blue, or green. The red one damage an enemy unit by four. So you have four damage in hand if you want it. Blue, you can poison an allied unit and gain five coins. So you can use it on that Salamandra card that wants to be poisoned. Um, green, uh, boost a unit by four and give it Veil. If you control at least three Salamandra units, profit three. So if you have a Czar and everything, you could bump up one of the little bugs and uh, boost it up to four and gain three coins. So you paid the tribute for Azar, and then you get it right back. I think Azar is tribute three. Maybe he's five. I think he's three. He's only three. But uh, I like this card. I love cards with options, man. Having options is huge, especially if you get three of them. Um, really cool card. I like it. Uh, next one is uh, Yoden of Bellhaven. Um, so this is basically... Um, who revealed this? Claymore Gwent. Uh, they're cool, man. They, they do a lot of the admin tournamenting and stuff. Um, and they had a really funny reveal for it. If you haven't checked it out, uh, check out Claymore Gwent's uh, YouTube. Uh, pretty hilarious. Uh, they did a good one for uh, um, another card that was really cool. Um, but uh, he's uh, six strength, nine provisions, deploy, destroy, damaged enemy unit. So it's the old... Uh, um, Bob Jorn uh, ability. Um, it it's it's one of those things where if you can hit you know something for you know like a five or a seven or something like that, it gets gets you where you want to be. But if it's something that's boosted, this card just a six. So um, you got to be able to get that damage. So no matter what, I don't think you're gonna pair this with onslaught unless onslaught gets some type of rework with a passive. Um, this is going to be a Patricidal Fury throw. You know, you can have uh, Harold on the board, hopefully get some pings or something. But, I mean, you're probably going to you're probably gonna see it, but whether what, it, what the target it hits, it's going to all depend on that. Cool card, though. It, I mean, it was already a card, and they, you know, took it out of the system for a little bit. Uh, next one was revealed by Kung Fu Rabbit. Um... It's uh, Griffin Witcher Menor, uh, five for five. Deploy, draw the top unit, and then shuffle it back into your deck. Adrenaline four, boost a unit you've you've drawn by two. So, I think this is something you're gonna play with uh, maybe like blue stripes or like some type of swarm type deal, where you can, you know, you you messed your hand up, you break the card, you play this. It's not going to be too bad on red coin, but it's going to be really slow on blue coin. Um, that's what I'm going with. I mean, I mean, getting that little mini bonus too, um, of you know boosting it by four. Once again, I just think this is going to be like a blue stripe type thing. That's that's the only thing I can come up with because it's just it's just a hand correction thing. But you know, we'll have to wait and see. Next one, uh, this one was, these ones were revealed today. Um, this one's a deer. It's, uh, this one was revealed by uh, one of the uh, Japanese community members, Haya and Honey. Um, seven for eight, a deer insectoid. It has orders, adrenaline three. Um, so you have to play this with four cards. Your four, this is your fourth card, you play it. Um, Adrenaline 3, consume all tokens on this row and gain immunity. Whenever you consume one or more units, spawn a drone on this 
row. So every unit that you consume, you get back, and this becomes immune. Um, it's going to be a swarm type thing. It's kind of like a fallen knight for monsters, which it. Uh, I mean, it seems pretty good. I mean, being able to profit off of your swarming and then get it all back seems pretty good. I mean, you play it for a seven for eight. And then it can, you know, thing. But it does have orders, so they do have a chance to answer it. So, cool art on this one. Cool art. Uh, next one was revealed by King Denpai. He's funny, man. He's a silly dude. Um, this card for Nelfgaard is pretty nuts. Um, so, it's one strength, six provisions. Viper, Witcher, Menor. Okay, deploy set power of this card to match provision cost of the top card on your opponent's deck. Okay, so if your opponent misses an hero and it's their top card, this card plays for 14. <laughs> if you play it with Adrenaline 2, which means this is your third card, no matter what, this provision, this, this happens, set power of the card to match the cost of the highest costed card in your opponent's deck. So no matter what you get, I mean, if they miss it, a Nero or one of their high provision cards, even if this plays for, like, it hits, say, a 10 provision card, it plays for 11. That's huge. Granted, Bloody Baron shits all over it, um, and it's a less high rolly spotter, but this card can, I mean, on a red coin, bleed, if you think your opponent has this at three cards and you know you have an hero in hand, you got to be able to cover 14 points. That's dangerous. <laughs> That's very dangerous. If you're playing against Nilf card, you're going to always have to keep this card in mind on, on a, a blue coin um, push. If you feel like you need to push, you better be able to cover this card um, at three cards because if they got this and you got some good stuff in your deck, you're in trouble. You're in big trouble. <laughs> uh, and then the last card, this was the one revealed by uh, uh, the new community manager, Anna. Uh, definitely check her out on Twitter if you're a Twitter uh, person, uh, Gwenny Annie. Um, she's pretty awesome. Um, but the Bear Witcher, I guess this is one of the uh, cyberpunk uh, designers or something. Um this is his likeness, so that's awesome to be in a card this badass. This card is bananas. Um, it's the Bear Witcher. So it's 8 strength, 5 provisions, deploy, damage self by 3. Adrenaline 4, so you're playing this at 5 cards, which is around where you want to play something like this usually. Um, it's going to damage self and an enemy unit by 3. So it's, a, it's an 8. It's. I, I think this card's gonna be nuts. Um, once again, you're fighting that five provision slot. So are you gonna play this? Or are you gonna play that card that spawns some witchers? You might need the witchers for the deck you're building, but so far with all these self damage cards, it seems like um, what's her name? Uh, not Flaminica, but the other one that heals. Um, she seems like she's going to come into play to possibly boost or heal some stuff. Especially a whole row like that. But um, that's it so far, guys. Um, it's, it, some of the cards, not really that great. But some of them, I think they're pretty good. And uh, they're going to be uh, here real soon. Uh, getting you to tilt. <laughs> but uh, like always, guys, just... Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Um, I'll, I'll have another video out for Thanksgiving. It's a uh, bonus video for me and Wasubi with the um, uh, the Shiru list. Currently, I'm I only played one other game with it, but I'm nine and zero with it. I haven't lost with it yet. So, um, if you're still looking to climb, check that video out and uh, probably start running that because I've been doing well with it. Um, but uh, Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time.